these are the components and parts of different uh, assemblies of legs that I've tried. I have a baloney right side amputation. This is a regular baloney socket, uh, limb logic vacuum pump. It helps the socket fit better. A cup link to attach. This is an ultra stride foot. One of the main features of this foot is you'll notice how thick and strong it is through here. This is a very similar foot to other graphite feet on the market, um, but made quite a bit stronger. This is their original foot. It's a perfect stride. The circular area and the reverse angle of the shaft help the foot to have more dynamic movement. It can move inside, outside, forward and back. It's more of a natural ankle movement for uneven terrain. I really like this foot. The heel height adjustment is right here. The problem I had when I used this foot is the heel height would slide out of place and it wasn't, you couldn't tighten it enough to keep it at the height you wanted. Other than that, I really like this foot. It's a heavier foot, but not as heavy as the Ultra Stride. This is the lightest of the three. The shaft here is quite a bit thinner. Um, this foot's good for all round use, good for sporting use, for soccer, running, anything like that. The straight, it's a milder version of the straight running foot. Instead of this type of angle, the straight running foot would come more in a C shape to get, to get more spring in your step. All three of these feet are covered by Kevlar liners. These are, this is a well used liner. You can see how it's uh, dark gray from the graphite wearing off on the foot during use. This is a brand new Kevlar sleeve that fits over top of the keel of the foot to protect it. You can see the difference. This one's nice and white without any holes. Whereas these have holes worn out in them. They got a lot of graphite worn out on them. All three of these fit inside of cosmetic shell like this. This one's discolored from age. It's kind of yellow looking. Um, they're kind of in order of age. This one is would be the oldest. Um, you can see the, the discoloration difference in this one. And then finally this is a brand new cosmetic sleeve. You can see how it's it's quite lighter in color compared to the other three. This is a test socket before you get the finished socket. It's You can see through it so that you can determine where you're making contact and how the fit is working. You can see they, they can see exactly how it fits by by looking at the residual limb inside the socket. This is a coupling attached to the bottom. This allows alignment of the shin or what would be the shin and in and out for towing in and out of the foot. It attaches to this one, this particular one attaches to a, a male pylon which you'd find on this foot over here has a male adapter at the top would fit exactly into that socket. This foot here has a female adapter at the top so it would it would fit into a different kind of coupling on the top of the socket. This is a finished socket after the test socket you'd have a finished socket looks like this. This is what fits the residual limb. It says a limb logic vacuum pump on it and a female adapter at the, at the top that you would attach the coupling to for alignment. Inside of first on the top of this socket would be a gator. This is a gator here. Fits over this area of the socket underneath this part of the suspension sleeve. This is a suspension sleeve. It's pre-bent here so that your knee doesn't have to fight the resistance of the rubber 
when you want to take each step. So it's pre-vent to make it easier to walk with. The gaiter fits in about here to here underneath against the top of the socket here to protect the sleeve from getting worn out from rubbing against it. This is the same suspension sleeve looking right from the front. This would be the kneecap area here and this is what helps keep the leg on and stops it from pistoning up and down. This is an alpha liner. This part fits directly against the residual limb or stump and this part here goes in directly inside of the socket over here would fit in the socket. Inside of the socket near the bottom you'll notice there's a small hole that's so the limb logic pump can work it will pull the air out the limb logic pump attaches to the bottom um, the control button to turn it on this is where the air comes out pumps the air out and this is a cap that covers the charging hole where you plug this in to charge it up this, there's actually a battery in here this is battery operated this is uh, my leg worn this is an, the, the newest foot that I'm using it's an echelon foot there's hydraulics in here it allows the foot to move forward and backwards so there's some angulation happens in the ankle it's attached to the same cup link I showed earlier this screw here allows to set the toe in or out to adjust the alignment of the foot an active limb logic active vac this pumps air out of the socket here's the sleeve this is the suspension sleeve as it's worn you can see the edge of the top of the socket here that's because of the vacuum pulls air in so it causes a ridge here that you can see showing that it's a nice tight fit this sleeve fits over top of an alpha liner this is a gator this is the black gator the one I showed earlier was blue fits down like that the gator can slide off this is my new socket it has a a wolf image laminated into the socket I call it my tattoo the leg just fits in there like that to step in again in the bottom of the socket you can see the hole that the air is pulled out through the alpha liner is it's a, a gel rubber that has shear force in it to protect the residual limb you just roll it onto the limb Step into the socket, pull up the gator, this is the suspension sleeve, again it just rolls up the leg, On the foot, the protective sock, it's already have, has a hole in it. They wear out quite readily. ready to put a regular sock on now you're ready to go this ankle articulates because of the hydraulics this is the leg I'm currently using 
And out of the ones I've tried, as of right now, this is the foot I like the best.